And check this out. Finn, look, as, you so as soon as you change the challenge, I matured drastically. Now you can ride me as I fly. Get on. Steiner... Steiner has turned into a full-grown dragon. He is a full-grown dragon that you can now fly around all over the place if you wanted to. It's, um, it's, this is probably your best transportation you're ever gonna get. Really good. Steiner can land, I... Steiner can land in the grasslands, either light or dark. He cannot land in the forests or in the mountains. He can cross over some mountain ranges, it depends on what kind. Should be able to drop him here. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. But yeah, you can, uh, ride onto Steiner and do a lot with that. Here's the best part about this. Finn learns one new magic ability as a result of this action. It's called Steiner Level 1. Pretty much in combat what happens is when you cast it and it's 9 MP, but don't be too surprised at it. It is actually very deadly. When you call, uh, when you activate the ability, it'll go, Finn calls for Steiner. And what will happen is, um, he'll cast a fire breath spell that covers the entire enemy side and damages them all. Does a lot of fire damage. A lot more than your fire spells were. But it is, it's pretty damn powerful. Okay. Um. Let's, um. Let's just, for the hell of it, let's just one, do one battle so you guys can take a look. There's their new. There's their new, um. Their new styles, their new looks and designs. You can tell Samson is, like, like more buff than he was before. And he looks more like a, a healer. Edward looks more magey, as you can tell. Ben looks like he's badass, and Domino looks like he's smiling. I can't even tell. But um, let's uh, let's see what happens. Does a lot of damage right now. A lot of damage. Whoa. Alright, not bad. Alright. Alright, now with this in mind, there are a couple of things we need to do. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna keep Edward in here. I haven't had Edward. I never got a chance to really use Edward in a while. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this. We're pretty much ready to go back to Barbaros Island. But before we do, I wanna, go I wanna show you guys something really cool. So, um... To do that, we gotta head back into the, into the island. As you can tell, Tone. I'll show you Tone in a little in a little while. But uh, we're gonna transport him to Marion Town. There's uh, something really cool that I want to show you guys. Okay, now we could ride Steiner all the way there, but I think we need a boat for this one. So, let me go ahead and, uh, use the light orb to transport everybody to Marion. Okay, there we go. Alright, now you see, Steiner follows us, and, uh, which is awesome. Now, I hope we can use the boat. That's what I'm concerned about. Alright, I'm not even gonna show this. Okay, I just found the boat. It's down here more. Okay, there it is. Alright, so get in as soon as we get on the boat. Is it worth showing? Nope. <laughs> the rabbit had a monster bait. I'm actually surprised I didn't actually come across that a lot. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna keep sailing up north here. Now, for what I'm about to show you, you can only do this once at least one of your members of your potty class changes. Okay, there we go. Alright, so keep sailing along. Alright, now here's the mountain path path, the the mountainside. Come inside the mountain range, all the way inside, and then you're gonna come out like here. Then you're gonna go in like this. Now this is a cave that is not even like noticeable, okay? But this is all that's in this cave. Search the torches first, you'll get a tornado scroll, and a tempest storm. Now search the vase. There's nothing in that pot. Watch this. 
Ooh, over here! Here! No. <laughs> Were you surprised? I can't believe that I have a visitor. Whoa. Look at this guy. Sorry if I scared you, but in times like this, one can't be too cautious. But yes, yes, you are the one. Well, let me introduce myself. I am the Master Magician, Merlin. Remember one of the books we came across in a previous video that talked about Merlin? Yeah, this guy makes Xeon look like peanuts, but then again, I've read so much about Arthurian legend, I know that for a fact. Well, that and Sword in the Stone. I've been waiting for you for this day for over 300 years. Damn! Don't be frightened, I'm asking so many spells that living a long time is a simple task for me. But all my magic is peaceful. That's, that's no surprise, that I knew. Awan asked me to, get, uh, to go into exile and to wait for the great light. He told me that my magic could one day help save the world from a great darkness. I am able to grant one of you the power of resurrection. You want me to teach you the spell now? Okay. It, resurrection. Yes. At last, after 300 years, my task will be complete. So who shall I teach? All right, now, resu now just as the name implies, resurrection, uh, resurrect level one will um, will resurrect somebody from the dead uh, for some MP. Pretty much a healing spell, so give it to Annie. Annie learns resurrect level one. Come back anytime. What should I do now? This world is so different from the one I used to know. Okay. Now, if we look at Annie. Now, don't worry. Annie will only learn seven spells. This is her eight. This will be an eight spell for her. But as you can tell, with 12 MP, you can uh, raise somebody from the dead. Really helpful if you have to deal with Void and whatnot. So you really want to keep an eye on her. She's now your primary healer. Even though Finn has heal. But she is your full time healer. This is what she's used for. Okay. Um, with that in mind, we can now head back to Barbaros. So, uh, let me get you guys there real quick. Be right back. Alright, and here we go. Um, one other thing I wanted to just show you guys really quick is uh, the other item I forgot to show you guys. The world map. This is what happens when you use the world map that you got from Domino Ship. It shows you the entire continent, all of the different terrains. Alright, now if you can tell on the left, in that center plot of uh, Iridia, that flashing green square, that's our location right now. Uh, as you can tell, it wasn't fun getting through it. I should have had Edward this entire time just to figure out where this place was. Um, but we can take a look around. There's those island, those four islands above Discipline Island, which is uh, below them. And then it looks like if you look completely south of Barbaros, and you keep completely south along the waters, it looks like there's another island. And it looks like a couple sections we haven't been to yet, which are interesting. Um... There's uh, all that jazz, and there's a northern part of Iridia that we haven't seen yet. I might take a look at that later. Okay, anyway, uh, we're gonna go into side and talk to the king now. Oh shit! I don't like the sound of this music. Oh great! Looks like he took a beating. Oh shit! There's no answer. He's not breathing. Oh shit! I think Shatat just got here. Dragon in the sky. They seem to hate. Dragon. Don't tell me. Their battleship. Barbaro's troops are stronger, but we couldn't defeat them. Shatat and Ramu. They've made it to Barbaro's. Oh shit. Let's go inside. No, the king is. Spear water hit the young man's face. Inside. No. It's a monster. That fool. Underworlds. And Ramu. Too strong. Didn't notice the ancient tablet. I threw spirit water at them. They were in pain. You must be the one. Ancient tablet. Can't let them take. But for a while they won. Why the vicious ones? What about the agreement? This... This can... Can it be? <sighs> I'll hand this to you. To take Barbaros' revenge. Please. Why they... 
L Lorelei, take care. She's under. Suddenly, as a princess, raise her. No, the king is. Spearwater hit the young man's face. Inside, mo it's a monster. Damn. Alright, only thing we can do right now is take this. The ancient tablet. That's three out of four. We still need one more. Things just got really hectic. Okay. Now to show you the secret of this place. I just gotta find it now. There is a specific spot that you can go to. I have to find it. Like immensely. Uh, you know what? While we're here, I'm surprised that this guy is uh, still alive. <laughs> wow. I haven't saved in a while. I'm actually surprised I didn't have any issues. Alright, now I know there's a particular spot we need to go to. I just gotta find it. I think it's over here somewhere. There it is. Right here is a hidden spot that you can cross over. Fuck this guy. Who who goes there? Oh, you are from Marion. That guest. The king gave me the key. Told me to give it to you. Take this with you. Receives another bronze key. This is the bronze key two. But what's the key for? I forgot to ask him. Well, we're finding out right now. Go through the door and then go down the stairs. Check the base out. It's empty. It's Lorelei. It's locked. Let's go ahead and use the key on here. And talk to Lorelei. Ah! Hold on, we're not your enemy. Papa must rescue Papa. Everyone defeated. Then Papa, Papa's order was to take me here and they locked me in. Papa, I'm worried. I must find Papa. Okay, now before we pursue her, open these chests up. Alright, the War Rod. Now, I believe the War Rod is an upgrade for Edward. So, go ahead and... Actually, it's an upgrade for anyone, really. Go ahead and give Edward the War Rod. Uh, keep searching. Receives the Wind Bandana. We already know that's an upgrade for uh, Domino. We've got a lot of stuff now. Yeah, because that increases defense. And we open up this one. Healing Jewel. Healing Jewel, I believe, is uh, like a healing herb or healing potion for your entire body. Alright, defense-wise, let's see. Uh, yep. Wait a minute, let me see what this is. Formation. Huh. Alright, let's try this thing. Actually, no. Keep it like this only because, um... Uh, Domino still gets his power no matter, uh, what, what part of the formation he's in. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and back through. And then, uh, we're gonna go back around. Go back around. Phew. And we're gonna go in here. Ah, oh, Princess Lorelei. The king. Barbarossa's king. King till the end. Fought bravely. But monsters. <sighs> no. No, how could this happen? He witnessed the king's last. The king told him to take revenge for Barbara, then to take care of the princess. Then he passed away. Papa told you people to take revenge? Papa told you? If you're fighting them, take me with you. 
Then Papa's Revenge. I will fight as well. I think she's destined. She wants to come along. Finn nods and hands a piece of the light orb to Lorelei. Yep. On a good note, Lorelei joins the party. This is our seventh party member. Well, eight if you technically count Percy. But our current seventh. I will fulfill Papa's last wish and takes revenge for Barbaros. Princess Lorelei. I must say farewell to the kingdom. Wait at the castle entrance. Okay. She's gonna say farewell. She's now part of our party. We actually have one last thing we need to take care of. Alright. Um, there is a particular spot we need to go. We need to get upstairs. I just gotta figure out which way to go. We gotta go up this way. There is something that, um... That, uh, they don't mention here. But if you look carefully enough, there is a hidden merchant. You have to go around the castle this way. And then go in here. He, you don't see him, but he's like one of the traveling merchants. I'm a traveling merchant. I just received some good bargains. Take a look at these recent acquisitions. Would you like to purchase something? Wow. Look at this. Alright, so we've got a Healing Potion, a Vision Crystal, an Awakening Stone, Critical Jewel, Tempest Jewel, Counter Jewel, Resist Jewel, a Confusion Feather, Silence Crystal, Illusion Powder, Slow Cod, another Unicorn Horn, an Angel's Ocarina, and a Reviving Horn. Now, this guy will be here no matter what. Alright, so you can buy this stuff from now. Um, go ahead and give, buy a Resist Jewel. Um... Uh, give it to, uh, give it to Annie. Alright, we can, uh, sell some stuff too while we're at it. You can always pick some of this stuff up later. Um... I don't... Let me see here. Uh, well, I don't need this, I don't need this stun rod anymore. Yeah, we should be good. Okay. Um, with that in mind, we're ready to move out again. So we'll head back down. Alright, now we have seven people uh, in our party. So, it's gonna be interesting to see how we can work this out now. Uh, I'll exp we're gonna actually take Lower Lay with us though, so now I have to figure out who I want to leave behind this time. Alright, so we exit out. There we go. Let's go. But wait, if I join the party, there will be six people. You should only have five in the group. Why don't you choose who to exclude? Okay, um, everybody's gotten, you know, immensely strong right now. And I really want to take some time to level up everybody, but I can't. Alright, so I want to give some time to somebody who's been here for too long. So I'm going to put Samson over in, um, where do I want to put him at? Let's put him, uh, let's put him in Lee Village. Okay. Now, Lorelei joins us. She's level 19, okay? Um, you don't want to, you don't want to upgrade her cast immediately at level 20. She's going to learn some new skills. She comes with a leather glove, a gi, and a scarf. Um, she's a monk. She fights with her, she fights, uh, with her bare hands. As you can probably tell. Alright, now, she's got decent attack power, but I think we could fix that. Which is why I said to hold on to that source of power. Go ahead and give it to her. She gets five extra points of strength, which is good. Um, we should be decent. Alright, so with that in mind, we're ready to, um... They're about to level up. No, they're not. I'm looking at the amount of experience they have right now. Alright. What's she know for spells? She knows heal level two, win level two, cure level one, holy two, holy light level two, she knows sleep level 1 and defense level 1. Defense is like the war amulet that the lizard man has. Upgrade just uh, increases your speed and defense temporarily. She'll learn a level 2. But it's always good to have something like that. Especially in her case. She has decent MP. Uh, we're hoping to get, she can get some more. Alright, but for the time being, uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, try to level Lola up a little bit. And I know the next place to go. But uh, at this point, uh, we're done at Barbaros. So we're going to move on out.
Okay. Um, let me sh let me introduce your uh, to combat for a second. All right, as you can tell. Um, give me one second. Okay, that's what I want to know. As you can tell, she comes out there. Looks like she's wearing a martial arts gi and everything else. We're up against some succubus. Let's uh, go ahead and rock it right now. Let's go ahead and show off Steiner level one. We'll have her just in case use defense level one, and we'll have Annie cast uh, Holy Light level three. We'll have Domino attack, and we'll have Edward on the four path with Thunder level two. Yeah, they're out of power. Actually, I don't think we'll show off lower lane. So, oh wow! Yeah, I uh, over predicted that one. Ew, that's rape. That's a lot of rape right there. By the way, I am using the disc, so don't be too surprised. I'm trying to take care of the glitchy issue crap and shit. All right. Um, give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. All right. Um, before uh, we get any further, go ahead and uh, set up the um. Set of the formation again. Lorelei is your weakest player, so Finn in the Finn in the uh, Finn, Annie, and Edward in the uh, front. Domino in the back and Lorelei in the back. That way it won't be so bad. Um, at least for the time being, until she gets some more power. Why is it she just comes back her? Really? Okay. Uh, I know where we gotta go. I know where we're going next. Uh, we pretty much have free reign right now, but there is. I want to check out that northern part of Iridia, so. Let's go ahead and use our light orb. Let's not and go take care of something first that I just realized. Let's go ahead and move Tone back to Marion Town. I should have just left them there to begin with. Don't. For now, you're useful. Just stop saying yippee and I won't get irritated. Put him uh, at Marion Town. Alright, head back outside. All right. Reason why is because this is going to be easier transportation for us. Yep. All right. So go ahead and uh, let's use the light orb right now and get to Marion. Samson's at Lee Village. All right. There we go. All right. So go ahead and uh, walk right next to Steiner and press the X button, and we'll uh, climb right on top of him. Okay. Now, as long as you're flying, no enemies will attack you, so that's always a good thing. We're gonna cross over. Be advised, though, that even though we can cross over some mount some mountain ranges, there are others we can't. Uh, don't worry, you'll find out ways to do that later, but we're gonna skip over it. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm trying to figure out where is the location I'm looking for. This is the part of the continent we haven't been to. Okay, there it is. All right, so we'll land here. All right, go on in. All right. Say hello to this. Oh, I want to see a town. If only I had a ship, I could leave this village. I wonder what Marion looks like. All right. Um. Ships from Luna constantly stop you to buy weapons. The sailors are so handsome. All right, guys. This is a uh, Mistral Village. Uh, Mistral Village is famous for their weaponsmiths. But let's take a look around. A sailor picture collection. It's a picture of manly sailor picture. Okay. What is the uh, what a feel considered stuff? Got it. <laughs> but terrifying sounds of monsters are coming from atop the east mountains. I wonder what kind of monsters are there. What can kind of my in? I charge 150 gold per night. I like the uh, get up these guys. Awesome. See if we can get some new gear too. We'll look around as well. Um, what's in here? Where's this guy? I heard long ago there was a big island south of Marion, but due to some unexplained phenomenon, the island is swallowed up by the ocean. Now all that's left is a small island. I think it's called Hitty. Well, we haven't been there yet. That might actually be a good place to check out. Ah, okay. We'll probably fly there afterwards. Okay, that's fine. Shut up, lady. No offense. Alright, um... Alright, that leads back outside. 
Um, Mistral Village isn't that entirely big. Um, there's not a lot to look at. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm, I'm trying to look for something to pick up. Okay, yeah, go in here. This is technically the weapon shop. Let's see what they got. Weak, 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 really weak. That's not weak. Let's give it to Finn. All right, he can now he can now equip scales. All right, seraphic robe. We need that. Oh no! We'll fix that in a second. Uh, Mr. Cloak. Edward could definitely use that. Yeah, admit, uh, Edward still has that ring of defense equipped. And let's give him Mystic Hood. Got his ribbon. Alright, so we just need to make room for the separate throat, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Um. Um. Don't need a healing now. Fuck that. Alright, now we can buy it. Alright, and I think I know what else I'm gonna do. She's got a source of courage, and I wanna get, um. I wanna get Lorelei to a decent level before, uh, I class change her. Because it's safe to assume she's in a basic class, you can class change her, which is always a good thing. So, um, let's go ahead and give her that and see if she'll get anything decent out of it. There it is. So go ahead and give it to Lorelei. Reaches level 20, VP by 3, LP by 1, MP by 1, Strength by 4, Defense by 1, Speed by 1. Awesome. I like those stats. Those work great. Alright, now, um, oh yeah. You have anything to, what, what, what are you? The shop has fine products for a store in such a small village. High quality iron is abundant around here, and we have a skillful blacksmith. We export a great number of weapons. In fact, most weapons are made right here. You got anything good? I can use. Really don't need illusion powder. Uh, I'm pretty much stoked out on that. Alright, let's talk to this kid. There are monsters on top of the East Mountain. That's why no one goes there. The adults are all chicken. You are too, if you keep whining about it. Alright, now they said something about a blacksmith. It's actually in here. Talk to him for a second. Hey, be careful. I'm trying to work here. What? You want me to afford you some custom equipment? Don't be silly. My hands are full right now, and I need more silver. Hold on. Wait, to the east of this village, there is a mine with mith mithril silver. If you bring it here, I'll make you some custom equipment. Okay, now remember, we can't get there. But there might be a way to get there later on. But we now have a, there, we have a reason to check out the cave later. Okay, at this point, we're done in Mistral. We did get a few pieces of equipment that we can use. And, and we have a new destination. Let's go ahead and uh, use our world map. Because it's good to have there we go. Alright, so they said that, um, south of Marion, there's an island. Pity Island. Oh, there it is. If you look right below the area where Isla Village and the Cave of Spirits are, um, it's located right there. It's a decent island, too. We haven't actually been there, but with Steiner, we can actually check it out. Um, give me a second, guys. Okay, once again, my apologies on that. Alright, so, um, we could teleport to Mariana to make it easier, but, um, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and teleport to Mariana. I like to abuse the, the light off. And teleportation activate! Whoosh! There we go. Alright, so once again, climb on to Schneider. This time, we head south. Past the Isla Village and the Cave of Spirits. Over that side. And here's, uh, Pity Island. And so there's a shrine here. Alright. Okay. Um. So what I'm gonna say. Pity Island is a bit of a dungeon right now. Alright. Now the enemies here are a bit stronger than what you've accounted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and level up a bit to get Lorelei a few levels. But to level up a couple of times so we can do this. But, uh, I'm not gonna enter in yet. This is actually a good place to call it here. Um, before I go in because there is a dungeon in here. 
All right, so coming up in the next episode, guys, we're gonna uh, investigate the shrine, this um, shrine at Pity Island, and see what's in here. Maybe there's an interesting treasure we could use. I don't know, but um, I'll level up a couple of times, and then, uh, as promised, I will show you um, Steiner's level, Steiner level one uh, from inside a building, which is surprising because Steiner is always parked outside. Yeah, awesome. But I'm, I'm glad to be recording again, and uh, we're gonna. We're gonna keep going and we're gonna uh, go rape some more shit. Anyway, this has been a Bobby B. I'll see you guys later.